Mini dental implants part 2. This is the lower jaw of a person wearing dentures for many years. The denture was always loose and layers of denture adhesive had been used. So, the patient treated by putting four mini dental implants in the lower interior area. The dentures have been adjusted to fit over the implants. Then the metal housing have been placed in the denture to fit over the implants. Then the lower denture ready to snap onto the implant. Another case, the patient have upper jaw of a denture wearer. Also used a four mini dental implant placed in the upper anterior The existing upper denture has been fitted to snap over the, the upper denture has been made smaller as the implants will hold it up. The upper denture is placed over the implants. Note that the upper denture is smaller the does not cover the entire pellet so it can be used with impatient with gagging reflex the mini dental implants can also be used to support partial dentures here we can see two mini implants have been placed in the lower jaw to get a secure aesthetic partial plate. Two implants have been placed on the other side to support the partial denture. All four implants in position in the lower jaw to support the partial plate. The partial denture has been fitted with housing to fit over the implants in the patient mouth. The partial plate snaps into place over the implants. No ugly metal clips needed. So we can use it as aesthetic partial denture and avoid the use of clasp. Now we discuss the steps in placing the mini dental implants. Each implant takes only 10 to 15 minutes and usually no cutting or suturing of gums is needed. We started with local anesthesia, starter drill into bone, insert the mini implant with a finger wrench and place it in some more with a wing knot secure it in nicely with a mini wrench this step will be used in this system other system may have another step steps in placing the implant first implant being threaded threaded in with a finger wrench steps in placing the implant second step is implant inserted some more with wing knot this is the wing knot and third step is finally inserted with mini 
ranch this is the torque ratchet or we call it mini ranch this can be used for final insertion of the mini implant inside the bone here two mini implants have been placed to support a partial denture Also, many implants can be used to replace missing teeth as a crown or cup can be placed permanently over the, the missing tooth here is the upper canine can be replaced with mini dental implant by placing the mini dental implant in the space between the lateral and upper first premolar after insertion of the implant we can do the crown for the missing tooth over the mini implant another missing tooth to be replaced by mini dental implant upper four mini dental implant inserted in the spaced area of first premolar and then a tooth built up on the top of mini dental another missing tooth to be replaced by mini dental implant also here we inserted the mini dental implant and then construction of now we talk about the complication that will happen with mini dental implant the most frequent complication is a fracture of implant or instrument that can be used during insertion of the implant lateral forces may be occurred from placing of these type of implants pain and the swelling fracture of a prosthesis housing loosening and this is the most most common complication the patient have is the loosening of the housing of the mini implant and wear of the o-ring or implant head we can see here the broken of the drum broken drum the risk from mini dental implant are surgical and prosthetic risk which include non-integration and may be damaged to the nerve so the patient will have paresthesia and damage to adjacent teeth sinus perforation case abandonment and bone loss fracture of a prosthesis oral hygiene issue need for maintenance and checkups no assurance of success and longevity another design of mini implant that have a larger size more than mini dental implant and they all self tapping 2.3 millimeter diameter to 4.3 millimeter and these type improve abutment for crowns with a hygienic crown margin the new mini midi implant have increased surface area comparable with conventional implant and this will improve the strength retention 
and fixation of the implant in the bone. The effective biomechanics for mini implant clinical application. The following depiction represents some of the most common uses for skeletal anchorage in a clinical treatment at the present time. It is, it is left to the clinician to determine how to best treat each specific case and the proper biomechanics to use based on his or her training and case analysis and the treatment plan. The uses of mini dental implant in the treatment, ortho treatment, we can see here the molar distillation or tipping can be treated by using a mini dental implant, screw between the second premolar and first molar. Another example is used in maximum anchorage, friction free. In the anterior retraction, we can see here that they use the mini dental implant also between a premolar and molar and screw with the appliance. Example C using of mini dental implant in maxillary incisal friction free intrusion and retraction and this can be used in the treatment of these cases by insertion of mini dental implant screw between the two premolars and use in treatment of intrusion of the upper anterior teeth Also here, use in treatment of molar intrusion by using two screws buccally and palatally. In mandibular incisor intrusion, We can use the mini dental implant screws and insert it posteriorly in the treatment of anterior or incisor intrusion with the orthodontic appliance. In the molar protraction, we can use the mini dental implant with the ortho appliance and treat the cases of this protraction. In molar uprighting and protraction, we can use the mini dental implant with the spring and wires to treat this uprighting of the no molars. In case of leveling the curve of SP, also we can use the mini dental implant to aid with the ortho appliance to treat this curve of SP to be with the level of other teeth. In maxillary molar protraction, here we can see the position of screw will aid mini dental implant screw that aid with the ortho appliance and the bracket and wires and the spring 
to treat this protraction of the molar. In case of a class 2, division 2 incisor alignment, also we can put a mini dental implant between the two central incisor and used with the ortho appliance in the treated of this case. Now we go to the maxillofacial applications of mini dental implant using of mini dental implants for retention of maxillofacial processes in ear processes, eye, nose, obturator, and other facial dental processes. Here we have the patient have a gunshot wound and will be treated by surgeon and after finishing of the treatment he have a mini dental implant to aid in retention of the processes here the patient have a mandibular osteotomy and after healing from the surgical treatment, we start the prosthetic treatment of the patient. We can see here the defect in the upper and lower jaw. The upper jaw have a posterior teeth that will aid in retention of the maxillary obturator or processes, while the lower jaw the surgeon will put a four mini dental implant to aid in the construction of the lower processes. Here we can see the mini dental implant on the cast that are used for construction of the mandibular processes and we can see the large defect that will be happened in the mandible that will prevent the using or insertion of conventional implants then registration of the maxillomandibular relation and a trial of the partial denture, lower partial denture or lower mandibular processes and this is the final lower mandibular processes that is supported by four mini dental implants and we can see the housing of the four mini dental implants and insertion of the processes in the patient mouth.